Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, not only do I have a special guest, this is my friend Michael. Say hello. Hello there. And today, we are going to do some first sniffs of the Scentsy Fall and Winter 2022 collection. Now, if you know, I already did a first sniffs impression on my channel last week, but it's fun to have someone else smell it, and I've been seeing so many people on here sharing with their friends, their significant others, their husbands, all that fun stuff, and I decided to... <laughs> I decided that he is going to share because he claims he has a really good nose. So, we'll see. We are going to re-sniff the 10 fragrances. Now, you know how I feel about these fragrances. But, someone who's not in the wax community doesn't know all the ins and outs of fragrance and all the berry waffle cones and palo santos and all those things. So, it's super exciting to have someone totally new in the world to give these a sniff. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's gonna work is I'm gonna give Michael the bar, he's gonna sniff it, tell us what he thinks, and then I'm going to read the description, and then he's going to re-sniff it, and give us what would he melt that in his house, how does he feel about it, etc. So the first one we're going to start with is Black Currant and Plum. So again, you know how I feel about this, so. Am I guessing Let's what's in it, it, or... Just what you just, think. Just smell just what, just what think. I think. Black, currant, and plum. Um, okay. Um, I can smell the plum. I don't hate this. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, like, an old lady's house. Like, maybe I could put this in, like, a bathroom or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. Okay. So, Sensi yeah. says... Dark plum and wild black currant emboldened sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. I could resist it. <laughs> me too. It's not bad though. I, I mean, it, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah. Out of ten, what would you give it out of ten? Um, six. Six out of ten. Okay. I'm, I could be generous with that. I'm not sure. All right. <laughs> Next, blackberry spice. Mm. Okay. There you go. All right, blackberry spice. Let's see. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> I could smell the blackberry, and then the spice kind of like overtook it, mm -hmm. almost. Don't love this. I don't love it. What does it remind you of? I don't know. It reminds me of like a Michaels or. Oh you know, wait, like, that's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> going into ah, Joanne's or something. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they're selling things in, in like, I don't know, like during the fall or something like that. Kind yeah. of, yeah. Totally. I don't love it. I would not put it in my home. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, no, four out of ten. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's generous. Three or four. I don't know. It is ripe blackberry bundled up with cedarwood and fresh clove. Okay. I mean, like, it's, it's a choice. <laughs> it is a choice. <laughs> I will say, it is a choice. All right, next. You guys know from my last video. Cran Apple Crumble. I don't know what these mmms mean. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, I... Mm, I don't love the bakery sense. I think we, we've we talked about this. Mm -hmm. I don't love the bakery sense. Um, I can smell the apple. I can smell the crumble. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this a, a solid 2 out of 10. I, I don't like this very much. Yeah, so Sensi had, okay, so the notes say baked crayon apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. And if you guys remember, Sensi had a scent for Christmas a couple years ago, Cookies for Santa. It also had that brown sugar note, and it was just funky, like sour, like something's gone bad in it, and that yeah, is totally, like, it just smells like sour. Like there's something, there's something that, weird that just does not it's just, sit right. It's at weird. Me. I mean, like I said, it's a, it's a two for me. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. I would I would not use that. Oh, absolutely. All right. Next number four, falling apples. He also loves mahogany teakwood, so we can only give him so much grace. <laughs> and he doesn't—he doesn't like strawberry pound cake, 
or pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't love the bakery scents. I don't so. love the bakery scents. It's just they they sit weird like for in my nose. I don't know. Let let's try this one. <laughs> oh, I don't. Okay. I don't know. It's not bad. Uh, it's not like the best. What was it called again? Falling apples. It's um yeah. It's not too shabby. I mean, I f average run of the mill five out of ten maybe. Okay. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't hate it, so I can only give it a five out of ten. All right. So I can smell the apple for sure. So Sensi says, take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apples, acorn, and oak. I okay. Oak a. Eh? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not a fan of that one. All right. Mm. This one is the most I'm most excited. This is actually what prompted this video because frosted vanilla. Ooh. It's frosty, all right. Is it frosty? All right. If it's a, if it's a if it's a baked goods kind of one, we already it know. is not. It's bakery. not. Okay. No, it's not bakery. Uh. Okay. I can smell something like green in it. Is it supposed to be like a wintry kind of scent? So Sensi says, a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean, birch bark with a rush of frosty air. But now he smelled Winterfell from Teddy Bees and he really liked that. And that has that icy snow note in it. Mm. But I think this has a winter green note, like Listerine, like Interesting. I'm not smelling a Listerine um, smell. No, I get like a hmm. winter green. Like I think totally I like it better than you do. No, I don't like. I it. mean, I would give this. I'll give this like a five or a six. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not giving anything super high yet. I haven't loved any of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right. Huckleberry Hideaway. You guys know, love me some Huckleberry scents. So let's let him smell. Yes, somebody who knows nothing about anything. Huckleberry Hideaway. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty one. Um, I'd give this like a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. I would put it in my house. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not, it's not like a go-to for me, but mm -hmm. yeah. So the notes say, fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violets, and crisp white woods create the perfect retreat. Okay. It's the violets. For I, me. I buy it. I was gonna say I smell something a little floral, mm -hmm. a little floral in there. It's yeah. those violets. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. I like that it. Apparently, grow in the mountains with huckleberries, according to Sensi. Not a fan. Oh, you don't like that one. I don't like any of these. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The next one is pear picked day, and this is autumn pear mixed with s oh, oops, he didn't smell it yet. I forget. But someone else is here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I don't like that one. Nope. And see? Nope, nope, nope. That's like the one that I would melt out of this batch. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a different nose. I mean, it's not bad. Like, I'm not gonna... I would say like a 4 or a 5 out of 10 for me. The more I'm smelling it, the more I'm liking it, actually. I will say that. So I'm it is that. autumn pear mixed with spiced syrup and a dash of bourbon. Okay. I can smell, yeah, I can smell, yeah, mm -hmm, a little bit of that bur bourbon kind of get. The more I smell it, the more I like it. I'm going to give it, actually, I think I'm going to put it up there. It's funny because the more I, it's, I'll give it a seven. What? I'll, I'll give it, it, it changed for me. Upon first sniff, I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to hate it more, but it's not bad. It's not bad. See? Interesting. I'm going to have to do some mixing, and you guys will see my warm reviews when I do my trash talk. So my evolution of liking that scent as it went. That's what happens. All right. Next, sips of cider. Sips of cider. Which, please, it's 150,000 degrees outside, so I'm ready for fall. Oh, that's like a pretty... I really... I don't mind this one. Does it have, like, orange in it as well? It does. Okay. All right. So, lively blood orange steeped with sparkling ginger and cinnamon stick. I I don't... I'm going to give this one an 8. 
I don't mind this one. I just don't know how it's cider. There, there's no. Oh, it's not cider. There's no. It's cider. not cider. There's no cider in this. <laughs> there's no cider in this. But it is a very fall scent. Do you think this smells bad? I mean, do you or do you not like the name of it? It just doesn't. It's not cider. There's cider mill. There's bright cider life, and those are cidery fall delicious. So I was excited to see a cider scent. It's not cider, you guys. It's not cider, but it smells good, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> That's what matters, right? Yeah. Should we start a channel? I think so. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Velvet Moon. It's a fancy name. It is. For a fancy wax. Oh, that's like a... Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I would say... I'm already, I'm just going to go immediately for like a 7 or an 8 here, too. They're getting better as you show me more. Okay. It's a very light scent. It almost has like a, like a linen, like a laundry quality. Kind of like a fresh laundry quality to it. Okay. But it's, um, I can definitely, I, I feel like, is there like a floral in there as well? So, Tell, let me know. Since let me he says, up. soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Does the silky count for anything? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I like it. I would say seven or eight. I would say that this is good. I know I already said this. I I love a good bathroom scent. <laughs> I love a good bathroom scent. And this is like a good bathroom scent. That's an old lady bathroom. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, we have white, amber, and silk. I hope the finale is good. Is it a good finale? It's up to you. Okay. Only you will know. Uh, I don't like this one as much as uh, as I have like the past couple, like, four. Um, what was it called? White, Amber, and Silk. White, Amber, and Silk. I don't really smell silk in this, or... I don't, I don't know. Warm, I'm not loving it. Warm Amber and Bergamot wrapped up in comforting cotton for a smooth finish. Yeah, I'm not really getting the cotton. Not really getting the cotton. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> Personally, I'd say three or four. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you like that one? Uh, I mean, it definitely does not belong in a fall and winter catalog. No. I don't I don't understand so. fall and winter. This is more like your everyday company's coming over, and you want something that's really not going to offend anybody. Yeah. Because it just smells like you cleaned, like, you, you freshened up the living room. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So. That's interesting. Those are, I like the, I like those four. All right. Well, let's do a recap. Yeah. Um, I liked, let's see, this last time we did, the Vel, where was this last time we did? White, Amber, and Silk was okay. last time we did. Mm. So recap, this last scent we did, White, Amber, and Silk, didn't love. Um, I progressively liked more this Huckleberry um, hideaway. It was not, it wasn't, I think it was the worst of my favorites. The Perfect Day and Velvet Moon were very pretty. Um, if you want something that smells good, but is off, <laughs> but the name doesn't match, Sips of Cider works. And then the rest of these, I was like, uh, Black Currant and Plum was kind of gross. Um, Blackberry Spice, it was too spicy and not enough sweetness for me. Um, Cran Apple Crumble, I'm not falling to pieces for it. <laughs> falling Apples was cute, but there are better apple scents, and Frosted Vanilla was fine. So, that's my recap. So, there you have it. Again, these scents are coming out on August 1st. Now you saw my impressions. Now you saw Michael's impressions. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys got your kits yet? If you guys are waiting, which one are you most excited about? Which one are you super intrigued by? Because let me tell you, it is a very interesting collection. So I'll be very curious to hear your thoughts down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Please be kind to one another. Make it a better world. I love you all so much. And you matter. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.